。えー、皆さん、こんにちは、えー。今日もディレクターズニュースを始めたいと思います。Hi everyone,、uh, this is Kanoko,、um, Director of Communication Design for Sapporo International Art Festival 2020. So, last time I talked about my part, the communication design. But today I have Magdalena Kreis with me to talk about the notion of art mediation, which is a very, very important idea to,、um, for everything we do in SciF 2020. So, hi, Maja san. Hi, <laughs> How are you? Hi, everyone. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, I'm staying now、uh, in, the, in the woods in a、mm. uh, little house of my friends where I take care of their agro tourism、uh, pension. And、uh, <laughs> I'm、uh, having a really rural life here.、Mm -hmm. And basically, this is the only place here <laughs> where I can have a good internet connection. <laughs> okay. So I'm really happy that、uh, we managed to,、um, to catch contact、uh, with each other. And I'm happy、uh, that you invited me for a little talk today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your time. So,、um, yeah, let's jump in talking about art mediation. And can you maybe,、um, because you are involved in different programs and events and projects, working under this notion of art mediation for a long time in different places、um, before taking part in SIAF as well. So, can you maybe? Um, introduce to the audience what is art mediation and what do you think is the important elements about it? Sure.、Um, I think that art mediation might sound、uh, quite, let's say, new and、um, surprising, but this is something really, let's say, easy, <laughs> and、uh, we don't have to be scared of that、uh, notion and that term. And maybe it's good to start with the origin of the mediation, the, the term. So the word comes from Latin, and mediare、uh, means that it's something in, mid, in the middle, that it's something in between different things. And it's understood as a process. So it's not like a point or just like a finished、uh, object, it's、mm -hmm. something that. Goes along and it's going in the relationship、uh, and engaging different actors of the process. And、um, what is important in this term of mediation is that it's,、uh, um, it's very much associated with、uh, some kind of conflict, that there are two or few sides that are, you know, argue, that disagree.、Mm. At, and then, then the mediation should be the process of. Having the solution、uh, mm -hmm. for that. And here in the context of art, I wouldn't say that the conflict is,、um, is understood as something negative、mm -hmm. and that it has to be solved, but it's rather a situation、uh, of something new, of experiencing something. So coming closer to something that we don't know, and、mm -hmm. that might be this, you know, let's say, conflict.、Um, Uh, in which、uh, viewer audience、uh, needs some kind of、uh, support. And what is important in this uh, mediation, uh, art mediation、uh, practice, is that it's not、uh, a, 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 a hierarchy situation when someone is you know, above and say only the one right perspective and the one right solution. But it's rather a dialogue of the people that are on the same level, and everybody are welcome to be part of that process. So,、mm -hmm. rather dialoguing, rather exchanging perspectives, rather sharing different opinions and different uh, uh, resources that people have, like their knowledge or their experience or their. Um, you know, professional knowledge from work, for example, or from,、um, from st studies. So,、um, I would rather say that it's a flat platform for,、uh, for experiencing art, enjoying art, 
discussing about art and you know um, benefit from art uh, benefit some something that uh, is connected to our daily life it's not about you know like teaching someone art history or educating someone some new skills and artistic practices like proper painting or professional sculpturing and something like this it's rather a situation in which anyone uh, is in, uh, involved and invited to share his or her uh, thoughts about art about what they see about how they experience the situation in the gallery or the museum mm -hmm. and this is also something that is not you know dedicated to one specific age group for example or professional or unprofessional group this uh, art mediation practice goes beyond in between uh, and through all the uh, age groups and through the all professional and professional um, uh, viewers and audience so mm -hmm. uh, it's just a, um, it's just a situation in in which you select or you uh, you, you decide a tool for that kind of activity uh, for example activity book for children or a professional discussion for the curators and critics or art mediators so mm -hmm. uh, different and various tools and activities can be involved in this program of art mediation mm -hmm. so everybody who is interested in art have the same equal opportunity to enjoy art and we art mediation is creating different paths to give the access to the art right yeah also for those who are not really audience so we call it not not, not non-audience uh, or a future audience also so those who are not really interested in art activities but might be uh, um, welcomed by our attitude to let's say think okay maybe it would be nice to go for that kind of exhibition and just have a look what they want to share with us and um, so also finding out some new ways to uh, reach the audience uh, mm -hmm. it's also important in in this in this process and um, one more thing I would like to mention uh, is that um, is that this process is not only dedicated to the people from the field of let's say art education mm -hmm. uh, all the people who are working within the festival like SIA of 2020 are involved and uh, invited to uh, do the art mediation all together so directors curators all the staff members all the volunteers uh, saya fubu or other associated people who um, uh, are in this uh, organization let's say team but of course also artists who are a strong part of this uh, let's say community around the festival that are um, inviting audience to to uh, feel uh, welcomed and to feel uh, open for the discussion and exchanging um, mm -hmm. what they feel. Yeah, when I heard first about art mediation in Wrocław when I visited uh, last year when you were um, organizing the the World Art Center was organizing the an art festival, I heard that the Rural Art Center has a very equal um, working opportunities as well. So um, all the staff members from the directors to part-time job or volunteers, um, they all alternate between um, them to do the reception. So, yeah. you know, Agnieszka and you be also sitting at the reception to welcome the audience as well, um, just as, you know, other uh, younger staff members would do. So I thought it was a very nice idea and also to yeah. understand the notion of art mediation. Yeah, so. all of us uh, used to have shifts uh, at the info um, desk. 
So it was the opportunity to have like a very first contact with the audience. So mm -hmm. starting from just hello, uh, welcome, uh, feel free to, to see the exhibition. Uh, the, f the entrance is for free. So like very basic information that are necessary for the audience to feel comfortable in the place. But then also we were all art mediators. Also, um, if it goes to the exhibition uh, and artworks. So if anyone was interested to go along through the exhibition with us and to um, discuss a little bit more about what we or they or we all together see um, that would that was also possible for or is still possible of course at Bar Art Center for all the visitors uh, without any you know um, extra payment and any extra fee so it's mm -hmm. uh, it's quite unique um, practice and uh, yeah I also admire it a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other examples from your past experience or knowledge that we can see what is actually art mediation in a more concrete yeah. Yeah, for, for today, um, today's meeting, I've um, picked up just two examples because I know that we don't have that much time, but I wanted to share uh, two examples that I uh, admire. Uh, it's not really my activities that I uh, was organizing or I was involved in, but I had a chance to experience it and I think that um, it works really well. So mm -hmm. the first thing uh, I'll make the uh, sharing of my screen now. I hope it will be. Um, yeah, I see it now. Okay, so um, so the first example is um, uh, is uh, done by Zahenta National Gallery uh, of Art, located uh, in Warsaw, in Poland. And this is a, a small folder uh, which says, um, unfortunately, it's only in Polish, but it says like the main question is, what is uh, contemporary art? Uh, and uh, there are um, questions uh, that goes along through the folder. And um, these are really simple questions that uh, you might uh, ask yourself during the visit at the gallery space because this tool uh, was um, designed for self-guided tour uh, for example yeah if you want to go to the exhibition on your own um, you don't have much knowledge about that or you don't feel um, comfortable standing in front of the artwork then these uh, two th these two might be helpful so there are questions uh, for example does this artwork has a title um, yeah, so it makes you think about the title first if it has the title or not but then what does it mean the title does it make any impact of uh, uh, on the artwork or it, does it give you does it give you any information about what can you see in this artwork so um, on the on the first side of this folder you have the basic question like for example what is the title or it, it does does this artwork has a title and on the second side on the opposite side you can see some more detailed questions so you can go through it uh, and uh, there is a list of questions you can see probably now, uh, like, uh, does this work say anything about artists, about the artist? Uh, do you think that this artwork can change the word? Uh, is there any important color uh, would to, uh, uh, which would be the element of this uh, artwork? So yeah, the, this uh, handy handy folder uh, was something really easy to um, you know to to uh, get while you were buying a ticket. It was for free, like small size, and mm -hmm. anyone 
could go uh, for the exhibition with that kind of uh, mm. printed material. But it's, uh, it's called Do It Yourself, like guidebook mm -hmm. for any kind of exhibition. So it's really universal. And I really like the idea of, you know, inventing something, designing something that works not only for one specific um, exhibition, but it can, you know, um, uh, uh, um, it can work for a longer time. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this uh, guidebook, this folder was also, you know, helpful for schools uh, or some guided tours that volunteers were running. So it has a lot of different um, situations where you can use it. And mm -hmm. all these questions and all these, uh, um, all these, um, topics that are uh, are uh, in this uh, in this folder uh, it's it's uh, open uh, open source uh, format so anyone can use it actually and I know that lots of institutions not only Zahenta in the Warsaw uh, in Warsaw but also other institutions uh, use this uh, use this tool mm. nice. and um, the second thing that I wanted to mention is um, uh, it's a project uh, or a kind of practice, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, by Villa Zebra. Uh, Villa Zebra is a museum of contemporary art for children based in Rotterdam in Netherlands. Uh, and I had a chance to visit this place for a study trip uh, some time ago. And I spent there a week, uh, like uh, looking at how does the everyday life of the um, institution uh, goes. Uh, and there was an exhibition called uh, Ticket to the Future that time. And um, uh, w uh, within this exhibition, uh, of course, there were artworks, but there were also some kind of um, uh, uh, small uh, art studios uh, arranged by different artists. Like, mm -hmm. let's say the whole exhibition was about 12 artworks and three of these were the small uh, art studios. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was working like, uh, like this. There was a schedule uh, on the wall uh, and you could uh, mm, you could check when the artist is present in the gallery uh, uh, on site uh, and when you can meet uh, her or him at the exhibition uh, mm -hmm. and also there were uh, some activities in this uh, field of this little studio that uh, audience was invited to take part uh, in so um, the, my favorite um, my favorite studio uh, was uh, by uh, Chantal van Heyswijk. She's an artist based in uh, Rotterdam, and um, now I can show you her studio uh, because they did this uh, shooting uh, like three hundred sixty degrees. And yeah, it was, it was something like this. So you can see there are lots of texts, her running for the studio, lots of um, uh, things that she basically used for her artworks. And, uh, and she was there for the whole, um, for, for some time during the exhibition. And that mm -hmm. was something that really inspired me because I thought that it's great when children or audience can meet the artist in person uh, while he or she is like really working um, at her or his studio. Mm -hmm. So um, it was also, you know, something uh, really inspiring for, for me. Uh, and I decided to uh, do uh, a similar uh, thing uh, while preparing an exhibition for children uh, last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and I saw that it really works really, really well. Uh, people are like a little bit um, uh, surprised by the fact that artist is in the gallery space, mm -hmm. but actually she or he is really working. So she or he is doing her own or his own job, like doing art. And you have a chance to meet this person 
uh, mm -hmm. this person and just talk, um, just look how he or she's um, doing her art. And Chantal, uh, one of her um, one of her artworks that she was presenting during this uh, exhibition was the ice sculpture. Ik Ben zo weg. Uh, this is the <laughs> title of the artwork. Uh, uh, well, meeting the artist is one of the best things about contemporary art, isn't it? Yeah, and uh, here it was really pleasant and easy atmosphere. So, you know, anyone could access the exhibition and see uh, her working in, in her studio, in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see the video now? No, I don't see ah, that. Oh, no. sorry. So maybe I'll try once again. Uh, let me try once again. Thanks. Just a second. So um, anyway, this uh, sculpture uh, that I want to show you is made from ice. So this is also something You see it now, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so these letters says, I'm not here. I'm not present here now. So while she was not at her studio, she was putting up this uh, uh, ice sculpture uh, uh, on, the, on the platform. And it was just saying that I'm not here. I'll be back. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was, it was, she was also playing with the situation she, that she is present or not in the gallery mm -hmm. and while she's working a lot with the text and, um, and uh, yeah, and letters. Mm -hmm. So here you can see the, yeah, this mm -hmm. is the, this is the artwork uh, she, she did also in her studio. So there were molds. She was really having like a fridge, huge fridge where she was freezing this uh, ice sculpture and putting it up on the platform, rotating platform, while she was not present in, um, in the gallery space. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe um, we can also talk about some examples from SIAF that we plan together, especially, yeah. um, you know, based on your experience working with children. Um, this fe last February, we organized a um, gallery tour with the children. So maybe you can talk about that. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, because uh, that was a really uh, great experience also for me. Uh, I did uh, lots of different kind of uh, art tours for children, but this one was really special because I couldn't speak my, uh, my language <laughs> or even English to make it really easy to understand. So thank you for supporting me in translation and of course, like uh, finding out the best solutions for that. Um, for that but, tour. But children didn't seem to mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that was, I, I, I think I was a little bit stressed and yeah. feeling this comfortable uh, in this They're situation very sweet. at the beginning, yeah. but they were like really uh, sweet <laughs> and they were uh, reacting really positively. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, the, the thing that we are mentioning now is the Migishi Kotaru Museum um, of Art. Uh, so it, it's called Mima. Uh, located, of course, in uh, Sapporo. Uh, and we had a, a tour, like a guided tour uh, through the exhibition, uh, which is like the permanent exhibition of, um, of uh, Mima. Uh, but this time it was special also because of the fact that Maru, uh, like the really funny and um, nice character that Sapporo people um, know, uh, it was also a part of this uh, exhibition. And Maru was um, uh, presenting some artworks for the children in a very easy language, in a very easy way. And finding some kind of uh, interaction between the audience and really, uh, let's say, old types of 
paintings, yeah, because these mm -hmm. paintings are not interactive artworks. No one can touch it and, you know, it's not something to play with. But still, uh, we had, we, or the, um, um, the curators of the exhibition wanted to make this play in between audience and uh, paintings. And mm -hmm. what we did um, was the guided tour uh, through the exhibition with some kind of activities that uh, we uh, proposed to, to children uh, while, uh, while uh, seeing the exhibition. Uh, I'll try to open the photos now. So uh, we had, we've selected some artworks that we found out that uh, might be interesting. And we were trying to find out some um, activities that we could um, uh, propose to children uh, while uh, watching together the exhibition. Um, so here, uh, here you can see uh, the leaflet mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. of the uh, guided tour, and of course uh, Maru and the well-known painting by Mingishi Kotaru, so butterflies. And yeah, so here you can see that the group was not only children, but also parents and some adults. Uh, and it was very important. And it's also important for me that parents are involved in the process of um, experiencing art because lots of them are just like the children, let's say. I mean, they are there for the first time and they are not interested that much in art, but they think that it's good for their children to go to the museums. So I think it's a great um, situation in, in which they can exp experience it uh, all together, like to have like a family time for that. Um, so we had some uh, exercise like uh, gazing into eyes one on another and uh, trying to make a drawing of the eyes of the viewer, which was also connected with uh, one painting of the girl with the red eyes. We were listening to the sounds uh, from the uh, shells, uh, which was also connected with one of the painting, uh, with, with a series of uh, paintings, in fact, um, in one room. Uh, and we were, for example, trying to find out uh, titles for, um, for the artworks that were called only composition. So we mm -hmm. didn't thought it's enough to just name the work like composition or no title. So finding out a title was also fun. And we also had a chance to visit a special room uh, dedicated for children to play and uh, to make some drawings and some notes, comments uh, about their, um, their experience in the gallery. And uh, so, yeah, that, that tour was uh, really a great experience, uh, I guess, for um, mm. all of us. But as I said, um, it's not, art mediation, it's not only for children and about the children. Of course, uh, it's important to involve um, audience in all um, different levels and uh, different age uh, groups. Mm -hmm. So it's also, yeah, sorry. Yeah, maybe um, because time is running now, so maybe you can tell me what you think is special about SIAF 2020 when you think about it from the perspective of art mediation and what you were trying to accomplish within this framework. And maybe um, mention a little bit about like what we are continuously working on right now. Mm -hmm. Sure. We had to change, of course, our, our plans because of, uh, because of COVID-19 and the cancellation of the festival, but it's not that, uh, it's not, uh, it, it doesn't mean that we are not doing anything and that this process of art mediation is no longer important for us. It's still important. 
it will be uh, a little bit more difficult to uh, to go because we cannot uh, invite audience uh, to meet in the gallery space and see appreciate art but still we have ideas how to uh, deal with the situation and if it goes to this uh, main topic uh, of SIAF 2020, so of roots and clouds, I think um, that this topic also uh, gives a um, nice, um, uh, nice feeling of what art mediation can be because it's something in between. Yeah, we are mm -hmm. talking about roots and clouds and this part in between roots and clouds, uh, which is our, let's say, daily life. Uh, our um, everyday surrounding. And I also think that um, art mediation can be understood in the similar um, way, that there are roots like knowledge, but there are also clouds like creativity, our open minds, our open you know, uh, thinking, and all those clouds that represent our thinking process. And art mediation is something in between, and it's like a, um, a platform where we can uh, uh, meet different perspectives and different, um, uh, different attitudes. Mm -hmm. And what is also important that uh, this program of art mediation was, was and still is supposed to be like multi-layered and uh, complex having the audience in the center of this process so uh, we will be all thinking uh, also help uh, thanks to your help and your uh, engagement in the um, communication uh, design process uh, to to ask these questions uh, that that you've mentioned like is it the right term is it the right direction? Uh, are we gonna find people who will like this kind of attitude? So having all these questions in our minds will, will help us to, um, to meet the audience. And um, what is important if it goes to plans for art mediation uh, within SIAF 2020, of course we had, uh, we had lots of different ideas uh, that we were <clears throat> discussing, mainly uh, focusing on uh, individual contact with the audience, with the viewer in the gallery space. But this is something that we cannot do, but still we have ideas and uh, some activities that, that we would like to, um, to organize. And for example, I am thinking about having um, a special uh, guided, uh, audio, audio guided uh, tour uh, for children and families that uh, you can use at home. So you can treat your home as an exhibition. Uh, if you cannot go out to the exhibition, if you cannot reach an exhibition, then uh, think that your home is an exhibition. So this audio guide will, will be some kind of uh, imagining the exhibition uh, in the place that you know very well. And uh, there is uh, one more thing, uh, which is, I. I guess uh, worth mentioning uh, is the art mediation think tank that we are um, thinking about. So uh, having a series of meetings for the people who are engaged in activities for the audience in different uh, institutions in Sapporo. So mm -hmm. I think that would, what would be beneficial from the SIAF 2020 would be the inspiration and um, in inviting the people from different institutions in Sapporo to think in a similar way with having the audience in the center of uh, their thinking yeah. and I hope that we will be uh, able to to spread the virus of art mediation uh, all together yeah it's only that unfortunate that you won't be able to come to Sapporo and we miss yeah. you a lot, but, yeah. <laughs> but just as uh, the notion of communication design, we, um, we believe that art mediation is something not only for SIAF 2020, but something that can be spread and um, understood and also modified and changed uh, according to different institutions and areas and projects. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's keep working <laughs> yeah. continuously um, to yeah. leave this um, 
idea behind in Sapporo. So thank you for your time today. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, we'll keep talking and we'll yeah. keep communicating with the audience as well. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.